Hello everyone. So everyone's doing well. It's kind of a rainy Saturday. Um, and so after disassembling that um, uh, Miller lever lock, I remembered that these locks are lever locks. And this particular lock right here, this big one, um, I got free. Basically, I had bought a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, like about three or four um, antique padlocks. And the seller had thrown that one in. And that got me into collecting the different sizes and trying to figure it out. Because it looks like it's just a warded, you know, lock that you could just stick a, a regular warded bypass set in there. Find the actuator and bam, it would open. But these are lever locks. So... I got various different little sizes and everything, and uh, I was never able to pick one open. But, you can, as you can see in here, see here's the baby bear, and the medium one, you know, and the papa bear. Well, I guess this would be mama bear, and these are the two kids. But anyways, uh, this size right here, um, if you, you have to have the, the lock open to do this, but there are two pins. Two brass pins that you basically punch out. I've got them right there. And then you can get into the mechanism. And it's fascinating mechanism. And that's what we're going to look at today. Um, it has these four levers right here. That as you can see with the cutout. Have to be positioned at just the right height. For... Uh, this little notch to appear and when they're at that right height that gives clearance to this little post right here to go forward and it doesn't go forward very far underneath here is is where it's holding the the latching mechanism of the the lock so this is the bolt and the bolt will just push forward just a little bit just like that when that goes forward this plunger right here is free to come up and it pushes the shackle up there's a little spring underneath there and once you close it this catch right here comes in and keeps that in place so, it doesn't have to move very far, and it actually is a lever lock. I didn't, you know, you look at them and you think, oh man, these are going to be easy. When you see them on eBay, you know, and they're locked, and they say, no key. You think, oh, that's going to be easy. I'm going to take a piece of wire or something, and I'm going to get up in here, and I'm going to hit this little actuator. Now, <coughs> there's, excuse me, <coughs> there's a little bit of a warding down here also at the bottom. Let's see if I can zoom the camera in. There's a little bit of warding down there. And there's another little piece that this snags on. I think you can see it right there. That's what actually pulls, you know, the bolt back. It actually, it's a part of the bolt. But that's what the key hits. And uh, if you look at one of the uh, other keys, it would be like this part right here. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. And once again, you look at it, and if you're just, just doing a casual look, you think, oh, that's just a warded key. And these are just the different cutouts for wards. Well, there are wards there. Uh, some of these are wards. And then when you reach the other part of it, this, this is not going to match up. because not, I don't have a key for the one that's open. But uh, it would be like that. So you have your actuator thing up there, and then you have the levers up here, and there's actual wards. If you're looking there, physical, not more, they look like one maybe. And of course the one going down into the, the recess down there. But there you go, that's how that thing works. And uh, to pick it without, you would have to have... Um, You would have to have something that tensions that thing probably on both sides just to make it uh, just to make it easy to. Let me zoom this thing back in. Out, I mean, 
you'd have to have something that would tension it on both sides and and still get into that little hole to help you you know align your thing and pivot it and then you would need to uh fit something down in there like a pick or something and move those because you can feel it you can feel the um the levers you know when you're manipulating it you can feel the spring pressure and everything and the body uh holds these you know gives it the spring tension everything holds these little pieces of stuff copper brass together so there you go yeah america did use um lever locks way back when but then they like they kind of went out of style um kind of faded out replaced by i guess newer technology but still um if you ran into one of those with your standard pick set or whatever and this one is a new one the only reason why i say it's new uh newer not only because it's shiny new old stock but it has yale on both sides and most of the older ones have yale on one side and then the little yale and tail and clover leaf type of thing on the back and all these other old ones do so there you go that's how these things work <clears throat> and uh, before i had peened this one out and pried this guy open and, and was trying to get it open and realized that uh you have to have the lock uh locking mechanism removed it's part of the it's part of the body right here it's it's being held like that so there's no way to pry this out just by punching those two holes out so there you go a little bit of uh delving into the past of some old levers that uh this guy now will just sit up there and if you can find the actual key you got to look a lot of times real close but there's numbers up here there's an f and a d and a four and an o and just from looking at the the two that have uh locks this one says f a four just comes out as an f4 and uh this one right here has an fd7 and this comes out as an f37 so you could find a replacement key basically if you just i've been keeping my out but you gotta get the right size because that's how i got these this f4 <laughs> It's an F4 with a key, and you know, you're looking on the pictures on eBay, and you can't really tell sometimes. A lot of times with it's this big, they would say massive. It's probably like three inches, two and a half, something like that. So I think they make an even bigger one than that, too. But I'm not after the whole, you know, guy uh, size collection. If I see one, I might get it. But I'm just more interested in how you how these things work and everything and the mechanism, so... Thank you for watching, happy picking, and um, happy non-stock lock Saturday. This, I guess this is lever lock Saturday. I, I don't want to claim Saturday for anything right now, just, just being goofy. That's me.